Hey everybody. We got a little something in the mail recently. This will enable the Mid Tower Lux to have a working floppy disk drive again. This device right here. Bought it off of eBay. <laughs> this thing costs around 20 bucks. Yeah, $20 just to get a working floppy drive in a modern day PC. So you get essentially this little add on board. That right there. And you get this power cable. One end plugs into the add on board. And the other plugs into the back of the floppy drive. So this actually powers the floppy drive. Interesting to know. The only thing about this, though, that I don't seem to quite understand, is instead of an internal USB connector like you know, this here, that plugs into the header on the motherboard, they instead solder on an external USB cable, which is inappropriate for what this is being used for. Um, yeah. Perhaps in their minds they thought, okay, they'll just use this cable to convert an internal floppy disk drive into an external, but why would you waste your time doing that when external um, USB floppy drives are abundant? They're, they're all over the place. You can buy them for cheap. Um, yeah, somebody who buys this will more likely be using it to retrofit an internal floppy disk drive to make it USB compatible to where it can be used on a modern day PC that does not have a floppy controller on board. So I'm going to have to unsolder this cable here or desolder this cable from the board. And luckily this piece of crap re card reader here um, just so happens to have of course this cable and this onboard connector. It's just like, matter of fact, the, this little PCB here is silk stringed. It's printed to have that style connector on it right there as you can see I want to get this glue out of the way first but um let's just say that the soldering work on this um, present connector is not that great it looks like it was soldered in either by the seller or by the company that supplies these to the seller on eBay as you can see, only the data pins actually have enough solder on them. The positive five and the ground barely even don't even have enough solder. Matter of fact, I think the ground is actually cold. So that's not all that impressive. So let's go ahead and get this prepped up, and we'll get it get the um, cable soldered over. And we'll get this installed into Mitch Our Lux and see how it does. Okay, got this thing soldered up and ready to go. Now it's got the correct cable for an internal application. Of course, this is plugs right into the head on your motherboard. And also, um, I want to note that the connector itself was a little undersized for the um, holes on the board, but that wasn't much, that wasn't much of an issue because the fifth pin is not needed. It's just essentially an extra ground. Matter of fact, this cable doesn't even use the fifth pin, so I just left it out, pulled it out of the connector, and then I was able to move the remaining four pins to where they would just go into the holes in the board and solder it into place. Now this little guy is ready for installation. Okay, just got it installed. Since it's just a simple USB device, I was able to do a hot install. But then you had to turn off the machine because we have an available USB header right there. This is what it looks like. It just plugs into the back of your internal floppy disk drive. And 
you have the power header that comes off the little board and actually powers your floppy drive. So no extra power cable for any power supply is necessary. And of course the USB cable just plugs right into the motherboard like so. And now if we look here in my computer you can see we have a working floppy disk drive. So for as long as main boards continue to offer USB 2.0 headers, then the tower looks off a floppy disk drive. And come the day that they do decide to get rid of USB 2 headers, well, we'll have to figure things out then. <laughs> and that's if I still need to actually use a floppy disk drive. But of course I want to keep it in there because of course that case has the FDD thing permanently molded into the front bezel. So I don't actually have to use a floppy drive all that much, but I figured why get rid of it? Okay, so this video will not be complete without a test of our floppy drive. So we'll insert this floppy disk and see what's on it. This thing, a AMD Ryzen system with an internal floppy disk drive. And we have the drivers for the old High Point 370 RAID controller. That's what these are. So, we can confirm that our floppy drive is in fact working. In case you're wondering what actually shows up in Device Manager for this, of course it shows up as a USB device. It has TEAC USB floppy. And this is your typical Microsoft driver. So we may have to look that up at a later time, but yeah. It just simply looks like I would say it's possibly just a little atom board for an external USB floppy drive. Rather interesting because all the, um, at least the majority of the USB floppy drives I've seen do not have internal floppy drives in them. Like let's say for example how most external hard drives are. They're just a case with an internal hard disk inside of it. Um, this is a little different. But I'd say this is a pretty probably the best way you'll be able to retrofit let's say if you're upgrading an older machine or you want to have you just want to absolutely want to have a internal floppy drive in your new computer I'd say this is the best way to do it um, like I say the only gripe I have about this little add-on card is it comes with the wrong USB cable. It comes with an external style cable which makes me think this could have been perhaps an application for an external use but considering how poorly soldered how, how it was poorly soldered onto the board makes me think that's you know somebody over in Hong Kong was just slapping these cables on left and right and shipping them out with these little atom boards. So that's the only real thing you'll run into if you get this little card is you won't you'll you'll probably want to dig out the soldering iron and change out that cable for an internal style cable because it this looks a it looks a whole lot better like this I think but I think it's pretty cool how you don't even have to supply a power cable from your power supply to the floppy drive so that's one less cable I gotta have dangling around inside here really and also this is a whole lot I said a whole lot cleaner looking than having your classic floppy cable going inside your computer so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching hey everybody I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q computer channel Remember to like the video, subscribe to the Creator channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel? That's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos of 
bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.